Hey guys, Infidel1258 here. We're going to do some bronze level rank grind with time and attention. It's a new account that I founded, and we are in bronze level three, but we have plenty of cards and plenty of power. If I had more time, we would have already been in bronze one, but just guild functions, YouTube channel, running different accounts, it's too much for me to do all. So, uh, we are still in bronze three, but we, I want to sh demonstrate the power of blue at the lower levels. So look, we're in bronze three, all elements are available, meaning all splinters. I have Varicelatia. She's my level two. If I was going to do a archery or a melee play, I would pick either Vera or Bordis, even though Bordis is only level one, uh, and Vera is level two. I think in this context, with this much mana, I'm going to do Alaric. Again, doesn't matter that he's level one. He's still going to allow most of the power that I'm looking for. Like my level one initi Kelp Initiate with five hit points is a great off meta tank. I could consider the Axe Master for the double strike. But I don't think so. Not in this context. Probably more likely I'm going to do Jin Oceanus. But then you know what? I'm actually going to go something a little bit more like this is the cheese as far as I'm concerned with this game right now is Venari wave smith ice pixie medusa we're gonna go actually medusa and medusa in the second position because she's got three hit points so it's more of a tank ice pixie in the last position because she's got flight so she's gonna dodge those sneak attackers more likely and this is it just rinse and repeat I'm not promising victory but I, I feel like I have a 70 or 80 percent chance of winning and, and it doesn't take much thought and look he's got void but I don't think it's going to matter because we're still going to do we're going to be du we're double damaging so we're going to be doing three damage a turn he has no heals so we'll kill buddy in the second turn and yeah he'll kill my kelp initiate but it's not going to matter so one down not even going to kill the kelp initiate like i mean it's just it's so easy at this level guys you do need a couple cards. I'm not saying you can do it for free. Um, but if you went in and bought a $3 Venari Wavesmith for yourself, it's going to be playable at the bronze level and it's going to give you that fortify, that protect, which is going to be two armor on every one of your monsters. I'm telling you, that'll climb you out by itself. And and yeah, Varicelatia is higher. And she unlocks certain... Like, who do I have here that would be... I have a level two Uraeus. Uh, and that has two melee damage as opposed to the one melee damage at the lower level. So if I was going to do a melee play, I'm going to pick, I'm going to pick my level two summoner, Varicelatia. But again, let's just show that magic. Let's just rinse and repeat. We've got 26 points this time. We could probably do Oceanus. We need Venari Waysmith. That's the, almost the, in a con, in this context, this is almost your carry, but you have to remember she is a support character that is offering that carry potential because of the protect. And so why, how do you maximize your use set of that protect? You're going to want to drop in as many cheap monsters as you can. Kelp initiate for two with, the, with adding the armor. Albatross with the flight, only one cost, and then adding the armor. And we still have five mana left over. You know, water elemental on the back was always good because if you get sneak attacked, you've got that option, right? Look. We've got two meat shields in front of Jin O'Shannis, and both of them are going to get are going to get the uh, fortify. And each time at this level, I'm getting one half to like a third, two thirds of a DEC per win. That doesn't sound like much, right? But every DEC is like one and a half cents. The idea that I'm getting paid money, real world money, to play a game at the entrance level, like I mean at the lowest possible level, is really, really crazy to me. And it absolutely does snowball because I could take this this 7DC. With about 10 cents, I could probably buy one common card. Maybe not. But I could probably buy one common card every day if I if I grind it at this level. And those are cards that are going to add utility to my deck and allow me to get to, you know, win more often, which is going to increase the amount of DEC you're getting. So the whole thing really snowballs in that way, right? And then eventually you're going to get some reward cards in your daily loot chests or your season loot chests. 
And that's when things start really heating up. And of course, we won again. Didn't even matter that he had Alric, right? Because we have we have carry cards like Oceanus and the Venari Waysmith. So there we are into bronze two. We keep playing. I'll do one more. We'll get the sneak quest together. Look at my win record. Like win, 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 win. When I'm I think I'm five or six wins in a row doing doing this. I want to get I'm gonna do the same thing, but I'm gonna throw in the sneak attacker because I want to have the I just want to get the credit. Like it doesn't even matter if I'm not really doing a sneak play. So what do I mean by that? Look, my first of all, my Uraeus only gets one melee at this damage at this level because my Alaric is a lower summoner. So I'm gonna go ahead and say no to him and throw in the Pelicor Bandit because at least he's got flight and three speed as opposed to two, so greater chance to dodge. So So what was I saying earlier? I was saying I was saying I'm throwing in the Uraeus here so that I can un unlock my daily quest. I am not playing a melee game. I'm not really expecting him to do anything. He's just literally unlocking that daily quest and that's it. The only thing he's adding is a sneak attack de defense. The one armor is why I chose him now. I, I switched it one last time and I, I had the Pelicor and now I'm doing the Uraeus because the one armor is gonna eat the first melee damage and then he's got still got two hit points left over. If he kills somebody, great. But really, he's a defense for my Axe Master, and he's going to unlock that daily quest for me. My Genoshanis, my Venari Wavesmith, and my Axe Master are going to win it by themselves. And the others are just really getting in the way, preventing my opponent from reaching my, my carry card. And we're... He's got a ton of hit points with the Elven Defender, but it's not going to matter. You know, he's doing a, a good magic play also, but I've got Meat Shield, Meat Shield, Void. We're going to be fine. And I've got the Axe Master for the double hits. So yeah, we're gonna be we're gonna be just fine. Yeah, I'm doing five magic and four archery. That's nine mail or nine damage per turn while he's doing, you know, ten, but ten damage to a totally superfluous enemy. Like he did ten damage to my um to my elk my kelp initiate, which who cares? And then when now they're shooting they're shooting at my Genoshanis, he's got void, so the he he just He's got that protection, that longevity. So of course we won. Another slam dunk. Get the daily quest. It's just one loot chest, but actually it'll be two loot chests. No, nope, one loot chest because we're in bronze two. It's one loot chest and it's going to be a 20% chance to get a card. Let's get it. Okay. Throw it on the pile. That's all it is, guys. Look at this. Win, 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 win. Seven or eight wins in a row. I'm going to leave it there. Thanks for your time and attention. Hope you're doing great this season. Hope you're climbing out of bronze. Hope you're using the technique around the Wavesmith. It's it's for you. It's, you know, it's $3. Um, that'll transform the power for you at this level. Okay, guys? Take care. God bless.